across tube it's Rebecca here stitching Becca uh, welcome to my channel this is where I talk about my cross stitch uh, today is uh, Friday the 28th of February um, welcome if uh, you are new and welcome back if you have um, watched my channel before uh, I'm here for my February update uh, it's <clears throat> I didn't get as much done as I would have hoped for this month. Uh, we had a stomach flu <clears throat> and it's been kind of a long process. Uh, so I hope uh, my son is having it now. He's on the mend. He's better. Um, but uh, I hope we all have had it now and I hope he, we don't get it again. Um, so we have seen the end of it. But I have had some some progress on my whips um, and uh, let's see I will start with showing you this one this is the prairie schooler uh, Christmas Eve and I'm stitching this ornament here right now uh, <coughs> and now it looks like this. Uh, I have been waiting for a thread so it's not finished as you can see uh, but I hope I will finish it this month. I don't know if you can see the sparkle in the fabric but it's really really sparkly. It's beautiful. I hope to have this finished uh, in March. Uh, <clears throat> in my last video, uh, I talked about whip go, and uh, for February, Jessie Marie draw number three and number twenty-three, and they were both uh, new starts on my board, uh, and I had three options that I was show show um, showing about, and. The Dimensions kit got uh, the most votes, uh, but I started the Lisa Kate. Uh, I've had I have had that kitted up uh, for over a year, and uh, yeah, it was just calling to me, so I started it. But the Dimensions one is uh, will not be far after. I will start that pretty soon uh, as well. So let's see. Oh, and my kids are home. They got some fruit uh, and are watching TV in the next room, so it might be some interruptions. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so I started... I said it in my last video too, but... Um, I started this one, Fearless Hope More, and I will stitch them like one big piece, like this. And I think I got a pretty good uh, start on this one. Um, so I, I um, started the border and I stitched fear less. And I really I love how the, this is my first time stitching with, um, I believe it's Classic Colorworks. No, it's not. Weeks Dye Works and uh, Gentle Arts threads. Uh, and I really enjoy the variation it gives. Um, I think it looks beautiful. So I finished uh, one section <clears throat> and I'm stitching this on uh, I'm using the call for fabrics and threads uh, this is 32 count I need to be more prepared uh, 32 count um, Thirty-two 
lamps with linen. Yeah. For which shelves. So, very happy with this one. And I only had one new start. Uh, yeah, when I saw, uh, I looked through my video, it's, I kind of made it sound like I'm only going to have two new starts this year. Uh, that's not accurate. Uh, I just put in two new starts in my Wicco board uh, to have like these, you know, fun squares. Um, when I just can choose something that I want to start uh, stitching. Uh, I have, uh, in my mind, I, I have kind of a lot uh, new things that I would like to start. So, yeah, it's just a matter of fact when I will start it. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> after I stitched this one, um, as I said, we had a stomach flu, um, so it's been weeks when I have not stitched at all. Uh, but I had some uh, um, I, I'm losing words here. Um, after I finished, that was my goal to stitch fearless. Um, I was happy with that progress. So after I stitched that and I didn't want st to start something more uh, this month, uh, I picked up my Prairie School November shot and I made some good progress uh, on this. Uh, this is what it looks like before and now it looks like this. Uh, I haven't taken it out of the cue snap because I'm not done stitching. I have, uh, I'm giving this one more day. And it's today. <laughs> so I've as you can see, I've stitched the trees, uh, or almost all the grass, and it's a lot of stitching in here. Um, it's only one color, but it's a lot. It took some time, and uh, I made, I managed to make a mis make mistake here. Uh, I don't know how because it's like a repeatable pattern going down this hill, but. I just made it work and worked around it. So, it looks kind of dark, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's where I'm at uh, with this one. So, uh, that was that was my stitching this month, um, but I got the most amazing uh, haul. Uh, I have some Dimensions kits, uh, some Unicorn kits. Uh, I keep an eye on eBay, but the prices are crazy. I won't pay that much um, for those kits. Uh, and once in a while uh, in our local uh, cross stitch selling places. Uh, I post some pictures asking if uh, someone has them at home and wants to sell them. And so far I had no luck. Uh, but uh, last weekend, weekend uh, when I was sick, I threw in the question uh, in the group and someone answered. And I couldn't believe it. Um, and it's this kit. It's gold, um, gold collection petites, and it's called Christmas Stories. And just a minute. Yeah. Mm. Uh, she had had it opened. It's not in the. Uh, original package and she has put the threads, sorted it and put it up uh, on this sorting things 
Um, but everything is here. Um, and I can't be more excited. Uh, I love this piece since the first time I saw it uh, a couple of years ago. And it's been impossible to get a hold of. So I'm over the moon. And uh, this little girl reminds me of my my girl, Elsa. Um, and I just think it's it's the most adorable piece. I just, I can't believe I finally have this one. And I can't wait to start that one and finish it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's, that was that. Um, I've got like this, um, it's been growing in, growing in my mind for some time. Um, I have some Mirabilias on the go. I have my mermaids and I have my uh, smaller Nora Corbett uh, fairy. Uh, and I have been wanting to start uh, one of the Mirabilias with, you know, the big dresses. Um, so I looked at my collection and uh, my uh, my eyes fell on Sabrina. So I have been ordering the threads that was missing. I had some in my stash, some duplicates. Uh, and I have been thinking about some fabric choices for her. And at first, I was thinking about this one. Uh, it's a pool stitches called Tudor Rose, uh, 28 count Britain in Ghana. But it's it's kind of pale. Um, I had this in my stash, and I I have we'll have to do a floss toss uh, for her. Um, but I'm afraid it's too pale, uh, and that her dress will get lost in it. Um, and then I ordered some fabrics from Lakes and Needlecraft. And I had my Gypsy Queen by Mirabilia in mind when I bought this fabric flare piece. It's called, it's, 30, it's 32 can't even weave and it's called Café Au Late. And it looks like this. But this one was paler in the colors than I was shown on my computer. Um, so I don't know if it will be too pale. I think it will be too pale for Gypsy Queen. I want some more stronger colors for her. But then I thought of Sabrina. Uh, in the cover photo here, uh, she is stitched on, I don't know, natural light linen um, by Witchelt. And it's kind of the same color as this one, but this has some modeling in it. And I think it will look nice. Um, I will make a floss toss. Uh, I think it will look great. Um, but I also have seen her on a little darker pinkish um, um, fabric and she looks stunning on that. So I haven't made up my mind. I was kind of hoping that this would be a good match. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I have no idea. I need to think about it for a while and uh, I might have a new start. An unexpected one and kind of an impulse one, but I always liked Sabrina. Uh, I think she looks elegant uh, sitting on this chair and the dress is it's gorgeous and the flowers, it's she's very pretty. So 
And I kind of want to keep that uh, romantic feeling uh, even in the fabric. So yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I have also ordered some uh, chalkboard linen, 32 count. Uh, I wanted to start uh, Priscilla Chelsea's um, freebie chart uh, that they so generously gave away this fall. Um, yeah, it was before Christmas time, I think. And I think this will be a good fabric for it. So, um, that was uh, my haul and two new uh, Whipco uh, numbers have been drawn yesterday I think and <clears throat> the numbers that was called was I have it written down here in my calendar it was number 18 and on my board that was working on hope my heaven and earth designs i haven't touched that project in i would say one and a half years and it's laying on top of my bookshelf uh, with my in my stitching um, spot and it's it's just a mess it's threads everywhere and uh, yeah that can be interesting uh, i uh, I will put in a picture here of how, what it looks like now and what it will look looks like when it's finished. Uh, the other number that was drawn was number 24. And on my board that was uh, to stitch a thousand stitches on Native American Maiden by Jill Elliott. So that made me happy because uh, it wasn't too long ago since I stitched on it and I kind of want to start on her bow, uh, you know, her shoes, boot, boots, boots, uh, and the grass and everything around surrounding that, uh, and more on her dress. Um, so that's exciting, and uh, yeah, we'll see how much she's going, stitching-wise. Uh, I hope it will be a good month. No more sickness in the family, please. Uh, so... Um, that was everything for me. Uh, I hope uh, that I will see you uh, at the end of March, maybe beginning of April, uh, with a March update. Um, so, until then, uh, I just want to say thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Uh, and I hope that you as well will have a good stitching month. Um, so. Uh, take care everyone.